Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Kim K transformation. You guys know Sarah by this point. She works in my salon, she's been in a few of my videos. She travels the country teaching with me as well. And today we have decided to take her from black beauty to platinum blonde, maybe. <laughs> we will see. We will see how far we get. Um, we know that pushing the limits with hair is never smart. So I just wanted to put a disclaimer on this video that we are both stylists. We both know the risks going into this. Sarah works here, so she is able to do deep conditioning treatments, protein treatments, every day that she's here, which is every day. Um, we can also tweak it over time since she is a stylist and it's easy for us. So we're just gonna be doing this as a fun little experiment, see how light we can get. The good thing about her hair is she used to be blonde a few months ago and we've just used Shade DQ on it. So something demi-permanent, we're hoping will lift out pretty easily. We're also going to be adding some extensions in her hair and we are going to be giving her a whole transformation. Are you excited? So stay tuned. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> okay, stay tuned. All right, you guys, so the first step for Sarah's hair today is going to be a bleach wash. We are going to be using this bleach. It's the Cadis Lightning Powder. We're going to be mixing it with 40 volume, Olaplex, and a little bit of shampoo to give us a shampoo bath. Okay, so here we go. We are starting with a level one to two. The last color she used on her hair was a level three N. It's faded out a little bit, and we have used level one and two on her before, so we have all of those levels that we're working with trying to lift out. We are parting off in four quadrants, two in the back and two in the front. The reason I do this is because it's a very clean parting, and it's gonna go on very evenly and very clean when doing this parting. So I am just going to be applying that bleach wash from the ends working my way up to the root. I am leaving that natural regrowth out because we don't want to get hot roots. That hair is natural and it's closer to the scalp so it would lift pretty quickly. So like I said, I'm just working on the mid shaft and ends and then when I take her back to the bowl, we'll do the roots the very last few minutes. If you do the roots first, they're going to be bright yellow and then your ends are going to be orange red. So just make sure that you kind of work opposite and work from the ends up. No point in blaming you, you did not know oh. I thought you were the one for me That's why I give you everything It's been on about 15 minutes now and you can see as we break apart the ends it's already starting to lift. It's going a little slower, it's definitely orangey red which is to be expected but for only 15 minutes I'm really excited about this lift and I think it's going to go really well. Okay, so that bleach wash sat for about 25 minutes. I just rinsed it out and we are doing another one, but I'm going to be doing this one in the bowl just so I can work it through like a true shampoo. And I'm also going to be doing her roots in this section as well. So I, I would say we got to a level four or five, and now I'm just resaturating with that same formula and I'm also putting it around her hairline. And I'm doing this because we want it to be brighter in the front and we do want to lift those roots a little bit. If we were playing off of her natural base color, I wouldn't put it on her roots at all. But since we do want to bump her base a few levels, I am going to lift it out a little bit so that we can go back through and smudge it in with a darker color. Come the last room. Take a nap at Jay-Z's style salon. <laughs> To me, I feel the rain crashing down all around. Okay, you guys, so we just got done with the second bleach wash. I would say we're sitting at about a level seven, but she is an eight or a nine in some areas, especially in the root area. So we are now with this clean canvas and we're gonna go through and highlight. Oh, 
Now begins the tedious work. Now that we have our canvas a little more evened out, we are going to go through and do slicing and baby lighting. Around the hairline, I'm going to do all slices. Her hairline lifted pretty well. The majority of her hair lifted pretty well, but we are working with a few different tones. We have orange and yellow and a little bit of red towards the ends where the darker color just wanted to hold on. So what I'm doing with these baby lights is just evening out the canvas even more. So if her roots pulled really yellow in some areas, I'm actually leaving the bleach off of it. But if it was still dark, I'm feathering into it. So it's not necessarily a specific pattern. I'm just baby lighting where we need it to be. And this is going to create a better lift and a more even look. Shadows in the atmosphere, charting the stratosphere. I prayed for you and kept you near, and hopes you chase away my fears. I'm on my own, you made it so. Hairline slicing is now done and we are just going to be working up in baby lights. Like I said before, very thin, fine baby lights just to even out the canvas a little bit. Her hair actually still feels really good. If it didn't, then I wouldn't be doing baby lights right now. I probably would have toned to even it out and then given her hair a few days or even a few weeks of a break. If this was a regular client, that could have very well been the case. But Sarah is always down to try anything for a video or just for fun because she's impulsive just like me. So we are doing the baby lights because her hair feels pretty good. So we are just going to continue this. This mixture is Schwarzkopf Blonde Me with 20 volume and Olaplex. And as you can see here, a little easier in this shot, her roots lifted pretty light and her ends are more of the orange red. So I'm just feathering through all of that to knock it out. And I'm hoping to lift to about a level eight. Nine is ideal, but I'm pretty sure we'll get to an eight. So I wanted to show you guys right here that when her roots lifted yellow, I'm not touching that with bleach, but some of her roots did lift orange. So there's one section on the left side there that went a little higher orange, so I'm feathering up right there, but I'm not touching the yellow part. We don't need to lift her roots any more than they already are, but by doing this, we are going to even it out a little bit so that we can go through and smudge with an accurate tone. But I am avoiding all of those yellow parts because that would be considered overlapping and we don't need any more lift from that. Just a few minutes before we rinse out her foils, I'm going to be toning her dropouts. I'm doing a combination of 6GN and 8GN from Redken Shades EQ. This is a green neutral, so it's going to help neutralize the coppery red tones, and it's going to help calm it down a little bit so that we don't have the contrast of the blonde foils with the red dropouts. All of the foils are out and we are now basing her. I am using Redken Shades EQ 5N 5G. And the reason I'm doing this is because we do need to add a little warmth back into that root. It's so exposed, the cuticle's been so open, and it got pretty pale yellow. So I don't really want to do a neutral or an ash tone because that would make it look a little green. So I'm doing the 5N 5G equal parts. The G is a gold. And this is going to give it a little bit of depth and a little bit of warmth. We are going for a warmer blonde tone, so I'm trying to just play off of that and enhance the base color. Okay, so now we are going on to the toner. I'm rinsing off the base color. 
and I'm going to be using Red Kimchi DQ 8N, 8V, and a little bit of 7P just because she did lift a little bit warm. And I want to get to her to about a level 8. So the 7P is going to help neutralize some of the brass, and the 8N, 8V is actually the combo and the tones that I'm actually looking to achieve. So we're just going to see how this goes, and once it's dry, we'll hope and pray that it turned out the way we want it to. done with the coloring process. We did two bleach washes, a full highlight, root smudging, and toning. And as you can see, we're sitting at about a level eight, nine in some areas. Um, it's definitely not perfect. We have another session to do. But it is not possible, like Kim K, to get black to platinum in one day unless you took 15 hours and had damage. So we did as much as her hair can handle today, but I am impressed because we got from like a level one, two to like a level eight, nine. So, it's still healthy, still feels good, but we are going to add hair extensions. And the reason being is because a lot of times, hair needs to have a little extra oomph. So as you can see here, she has a pretty good length, but she does have thinning right up here. She has some breakage. She's got some bangs she's growing out. She is a mom, so she has thinning because of her hormones and everything. So we're going to be adding extensions to add some fullness, and also the extensions are gonna add pops of brighter blonde. So a lot of times extensions are a really good way to get those pops without having to actually physically go in and bleach the hair even more than it can handle. I, it's kind of funny, on my channel, the last couple of videos, people have been like, you're just using extensions to make it look good, and I've been getting hate for using extensions, but extensions are around for a reason and they're such a good thing because some people's hair can't handle it so you can incorporate colors with extensions she also needs fullness we're gonna add extensions for that so I do own an extension company and I will be doing a lot of extensions on my channel so just kind of get used to it but we are gonna add some hair into her right now and make her feel fabulous Okay, you guys, so this is actually the next day and I wanted to explain to you the process. So, you guys saw her hair as is before we put the extensions in. We had tried to do a root smudge, but it didn't take quite as well as we wanted it to. So we came back the next day and added a root smudge because the cuticle was just too open that it wouldn't take. And sometimes that can happen in color corrections. You can just, you know, do so much to the hair that it's not gonna hold anything. It's just spitting it out. So we gave her hair a break for about 24 hours and then we came back in and rooted it and it looks so good. We love it. So just keep in mind with color corrections, you can only push the hair to its limit and you can't really do more than that sometimes, so. I'm obsessed with this hair. I'm never changing it for can six months. Can I get months. that in writing? I'm never changing it for six that months. That was my blood stamped. <laughs> Introducing Chloe Kardashian. <laughs> we decided to forego the Kim K experience and go for the Chloe K hairstyle. So what we ended up doing, you guys saw, we did a major color correction, we added some hair extensions just to give her pops of a brighter blonde. That's a really good way to add color when you're going lighter without having to damage the hair too much. But we got her really light within one session. Like we said before, we don't recommend doing this. This is just an experiment. We wanted to see what she would do. It was a fun video to film. But clients just know that in the real world, this does take longer than a day. But we are impressed with how light she got. And so it costs a lot of money. Yes, it costs a lot of money and a lot of time. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Shadows in the atmosphere charting the stratosphere